Greetings everybody, my name is Kenton and welcome back to the last episode of the Stanley Parable. Okay, this has been a fun game. We're finding out the various various um, endings and all that. So, I think in this episode we can... Um, right back when we followed the guy's directions the whole time, there was uh, right at the end before you went inside the, um, the mind control facility, there was this like scratched on onto the wall, the, the writing, it said escape. So, we're gonna go do that, see where that takes us, and, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see if we can find some other ending after that one, if there is. Okay, let's do this. Whoa! This is new. This is new. Yeah, last time we went to escape pod. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started, and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Well, uh, Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. See weather, yeah, well, if we could bloody well... If you could see the... I don't know what I'm doing, sorry. If you could see if there wasn't just a blinding, thicking light outside, that'd be great. What the hell? Who... who... Who places all this shit all everywhere? Why would you do this? You have to clean this up afterwards. Why would you do this? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, let's follow you. Okay. Take me down. What is... I wonder what's in that escape place. Should be interesting. It should be good. Let's hope it's good. Let's hope it's great. Hello. Mind control Stand facility. Stand straight ahead through the large door that read mind control facility. Not this time. To escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, yep. the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh gosh. I'm a bit concerned now because this guy was actually right the first time, I remember. The he door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get mm. back on nope, the Nope! I'm a rebellious son of a bitch! I don't point, listen to authority! Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. Yes. And willingly confront his death. Yes. Because I laugh at death. I laugh in the face of death! Ah! 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 Oh shit. yippee ki yay Oh, snap. Oh, okay. Ow. Violent death? As the machine oh. burned into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer well. to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. This is horrible. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Why does this exist? Forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps this is his death was of no great loss. This is horrible. Hugging the eyeballs from a blind man. Oh! So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end. I don't willingly accept fuck all. Life. Smash. Stanley. Oh. Oh no. I'm not looking at it. Smash. Oh. Hello. Farewell, Stanley. Balls. Cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Oh. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, Wonderful. killing him instantly. Well, at least it was instant. Oh, okay. Who are you now? Lady? The Stanley parable. Lady, who are you now? Because this is a whole different kettle of fish. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game oh, no. back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Who the fuck knows? Where are we now? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, Your making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? This blueprint shows the office of the beginning of the game. The path of Stanley's office to the two doors of the first part of the game is built. Oh my gosh. This is a la- Oh, I th- okay. Natu- Oh, this is- This is actually a very- This is very cool. I don't even know what- I Oh my gosh. I thought I broke the game at first. But no, this is this is this is very cool. This is a very cool thing. 
Um, the game, okay, the path of from Sandy's office to the two doors was first part of the game which was, that was built, sections have been added and altered throughout the development through the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Yep, this is about right. Corridor, the pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure player reaches the two doors in a good time. Yo, didn't think an actual... Uh, obviously a lot of work goes into these games, but I didn't think this, m like, when games involve choice, because games are not choice. The games, you don't, there is no choice in games, like, really. Everything is planned out, everything that you could ever think of doing is, has already been thought of, and just al it allows you to do. Buttons, a section of the ground, of the sound, eh, a section of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed, each sound is a mix of, of a keyboard stroke and a synth synthesized tone. Hmm. Original music. Well done, guys. This music is amazing. Stanley Parable credits. Yo. Uh, let's go left. See what's in left. This is so cool. The office. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. It's pretty cool. Green light. In September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Parable to Greenlight, Valve's process of approving games for Steam. The Greenlight page had only a series of cryptic photos, which were still enough to win the community's approval. Your Wait, so this is what you sent them. The point of the Stanley Parable, HD, Remix is to win. Okay, these are the screenshots of the Stanley Parable, HD, Remix. Your Warzone. It's Tron! It's Tron! Early in development, we, des we designed an ending where Stanley would e end up in a on a battlefield fighting aliens. This th the action game the action game would become sen sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We just realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people inter interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Oh, oh, come on! Uh, you can tell them to piss off, mate. Yo, that was that would have actually been a cool thing, I think. Ooh, um, shit, this is bright. From Ben, uh, dead, strong, bad. How do you type with? Oh shit! What? Oh balls! What do the light and this? Oh, I can't read that shit. Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked e people to email the narrator for questions. While we had intentionally planned to s use these in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. This is actually a very cool thing. I think most, lo a lot of games that involve this type of thing, you know, where you, it's thought-provoking stuff, and, um, like, quest, like, chant, like, you know, just... Uh, where you where choices are needed, like they should, I think they should do this. This is actually a very cool thing. It's like you know you're getting a tour of of an exhibit in a museum. This is actually a very cool way to show how much work had gone into a game. This is actually amazing. Option one, staircase. Okay, wait, what? The one doorway to maintenance room and then the lounge. Oh, first. Cho okay, this is after the two choices. You obey the order and you go to the staircase. You disobey the order and then you follow him again. So you go that way. Option two. First choice, obey, staircase, option bay, obey, lounge, maintenance. The other entrance would be hidden depending on how you entered. Okay. Option, vent. Ooh. Option three, first choice, obey, ob disobey, lounge. To, con to confusion ending. To confusion ending. Vent. Oh, there's a, v okay, it leads you back there, so. Maintenance layout. The flow, the flow of the hallways following the first two doors was important. To get right, since players will replay them so many times, we discussed a number of designs, but ultimately it was the simplest version. Okay. This is so cool. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. I don't know why this is making me so giddy. Did we already be? Yep, we already been up the stairs. What's this way? Oh, glass. Stanley's office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time was the first created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, the third in February. Okay. The layout of office changed. Yep. You go back, refine things, make sure it's okay. What is this? Game design mock-up. Okay. This is re really, really cool. Ooh, exit. Um... 
monitor room of the elevator. For time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down with freedom above and the countdown below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down. Okay. Countdown room. As an early version of the countdown room. Okay. Countdown desk. Ooh. What's down there? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. This place is a maze. Office clock. I can. What's in here? Narration outtakes. Kevin Brightening, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over two years of development. These are clips from early takes and were not used in the Gangle game. I wish I could hear it. Oh, that's actually really cool. I like it when the game actually like makes pokes fun at itself for for mistakes or just like little quirky things like you know yeah this place was too easy character like level design bad development and all that. It's it's actually very I like it. I like that. It's it's quite comedic. It's, it's oh hell hello oh balls what one of the desks from early versions of countdown okay countdown ending countdown <laughs> ending. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Okay. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. I like you as a narrator as well. You're pretty good. Off? Well, that Can was you a... See? Oh. Can you see how much they need one another? N no. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Okay. But listen to me. Oh, jeez. You can still save these two. You can stop oh. the program before they both fail. How? You Tell me. Escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Oh, shit. Stop now and be your only true choice. I like this lady. Well, pushing escape doesn't it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Ah, squish. Thank you, lady. That was a quite nice thing. Okay. I realized there is another, another one that we can do. Um. <laughs> okay. Nope. I realized there's another game we can, th another game, another ending we can. Yo. Oh. Whoa. What the fuck? What is All going on? co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. What the Perhaps fuck? Simply missed a memo. What the fuck? Where am I? Don't just no, don't just tell me to like continue as if nothing's happened. Look at this bullshit. I am in a completely different area, mate. You cannot just Stanley tell me around touching every little thing in the office. Damn straight I will. Didn't make a single oh difference. balls. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered <sighs> the door on his left. Yeah, fuck it, let's follow you. I wanna go to that ending right at the end in the mind control, so it says, you know. Remember, right at the beginning, the first episode I played, um, you could choose to switch off the thing, Yet and that would... Not a single oh, shut up, I'm talking! Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's yeah, office. Yeah, yeah. coming to us. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, okay. or content. Yeah. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Correct. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, mm -hmm. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Never again. For he would dismantle the controls once I will and for all. I'm gonna fight the man, man. We're never gonna be oppressed. Fuck that. Pot! Legalized pot, man! Well, we're gonna fuck it and say, on! Oh, Stanley. You what? You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Of course I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years yes. ago and you tried to take control of the machine for yourself, is yes. that what you wanted? Oh, dear. Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Oh? You were supposed to let it go. Was I? Turn the controls off and leave. 
If you want to throw my story off track, of you're going to have to do much better than that. Well, I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For bullshit. Example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Why would that exist? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, oh gosh. nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Wonderful. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Oh ah, shit! Now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? No. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's Am I? your story now. Oh, Shape balls. it to your heart's oh, desires. That's... Oh, this is much better Where's than number what three? I had in mind. What a shame oh, there we is... have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments oh. until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, okay. about me, where we're going. What Stop all being so I'm civil about this, you psychopathic stop. maniac. Oh, that's just ominous. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Well, I never said that, but okay. Solace before you're obliterated. Yes, please. All right. I'm just tell me everything, since we're gonna die anyway. anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Thank you. I erased them. Why? I turned off the machine. I set you free. Thank you. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing oh. buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Oh. Aren't you Other a kind times, lad? I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, Jeez. or I let it burn to a crisp. You've I got a god so, complex, don't this you? This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's uh, quite uh. rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come oh. up with on the next go around okay. will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You sedictive you know bastard. To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Oh, you're so kind, mate. These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. You're... Why are you oh, so kind dear, to me, mate? You should really stop. Me. Is it that you Ooh. have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Nope. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Well, I, mean, I kind of hope so. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, okay. no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, Incorrect. something Shit. here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video okay. game can be beaten? Yes. One solved? Do yes. you have any idea ah, what shit. your purpose in this place is? Not at all. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. Shit. But here's a spoiler for Oh, balls. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. Isn't it? It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Oh. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. You're... To see you made humble. You sadistic it's asshole. It's a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. Well... So you can't. Hmm, maybe it's in there. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds okay. you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until... This one says 23. Oh, right. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Wonderbar. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another Click choice. it! Come on! Make it Fuck. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Oh, and believe well. me, I will be I'm just gonna sit here and take it. Inevitable life from the moment Two. In one. Until the moment I say, happily ever up. Okay. Oh! I'm bleeding out. Oh gosh! <laughs> death. Inevitable death. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Really? Was that it? Is that all? Is that all you have for me, lad? <sighs> well, that was pretty fun. No, I think so. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not so... I wonder if there are any other endings. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps... Yeah, started, yeah. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Yeah. Stanley hoped Whoa. that he would one day see weather. Okay. I'm on the, I'm on the desk. Anarchy! Anarchy! I can't jump though. So I don't know how I got up there. Anyway. Nah. Yeah. Anyway, I think I think that's I think we're done here. That was the Stanley Parable, everybody. Yeah. That was pretty good.
thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the Stanley Parable, then please smash the like button to pieces. And I'll be back to see you in the next video. Goodbye. Whoop, 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 whoop.